Let us start with some important methods of preparation of aldehydes and ketones. Start with oxidation of alcohols. What do you mean by oxidation? Oxidation is basically addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogens. In case of alcohols, we have some standard oxidizing agents. First one is K2Cr2O7, what we call it as acidified potassium dichromate, followed by acidic or alkaline KMnO4. Even we can have CrO3, chromium trioxide, or sometimes they call it as chromium anhydride. What is K2Cr2O7 and dilute H2SO4 react to give? In the presence of acidified potassium dichromate, if you see the reaction, this will produce nascent oxygen. Nascent oxygen, which is responsible for oxidation. Now, in the above reaction, during oxidation, orange colored solution of dichromate, potassium dichromate, orange colored solution of potassium dichromate, you get converted to green colored solution we have K2Cr2O7 plus chromium sulfate which is green colored so during the oxidation this produces nascent oxygen which is responsible for oxidation next we have one more method what we call it as catalytic dehydrogenation that is copper at about 573 Kelvin. Copper at about 573 Kelvin. Now, let us start with the oxidation of with the oxidation of primary alcohols. Primary alcohols are CH2H on treatment with K2Cr2O7 plus dilute H2SO4. What do you call it as acidified potassium dichromate? First, we'll give you RCHO. This is aldehyde. Aldehyde with the same number of carbon atoms. But K2Cr2O7 and dilute H2SO4 is comparatively a strong oxidizing agent. If not controlled, this may further oxidize aldehydes to carboxylic acids again definitely with the same number of carbon atoms and we have seen these reactions in alcohols however if you want to stop the reaction till aldehyde stage if you want to stop the reaction till aldehyde stage we are supposed to use some mild or weak oxidizing agents such as PCC. What is PCC? PCC is pyridinium. Pyridinium chlorochromate. Pyridinium chlorochromate. Even we are familiar with the formula. This should be C5H5N plus HCRO3Cl minus. The other one is PDC. What is PDC? PDC is pyridinium. Pyridinium dichromate. Pyridinium dichromate. Formula is C5H5N plus H. The whole twice. The whole twice. Cr207 minus 2. Now these oxidizing agents or these reagents, the advantage is again they generally do not attack the double bonds as well, which remain unaffected during the oxidation reactions. For example, if you see this example, I 
IPS this is 1 2 and 3 OH will get the least possible number should be named as cyclohex 2 in 1 all on treatment with PCC or PDC is found that double bond is unaffected double bond is unaffected but C double bond O sorry COH secondary alcohol gets oxidized to ketone so PCC can be used to oxidize primary alcohol as well as secondary alcohol primary alcohol will give you aldehyde secondary alcohol will give you ketone so the advantage is this will stop the reaction till aldehyde or ketone stage thereby preventing the further oxidation to carboxylic acids similarly there is one more important reagent called as jones reagent jones reagent under room temperature even can be used to oxidized primary alcohols to aldehydes now what is jones reagent it is a solution of CrO3 in H2SO4 and in aqueous acetone aqueous acetone again can be used to oxidize primary alcohol to aldehydes for example if we have CH2 double bond CH and CH2H we call this as allyl alcohol allyl alcohol on oxidation with Jones reagent again it won't oxidize carbon carbon double bond so will oxidize only allylic or benzylic primary or secondary alcohols so we'll get CH2 double bond CH unaffected but CH2H will become CHO this compound is called as acrolein or what you call it as acrylaldehyde acrolein or acrylaldehyde however if the reagent is used in excess it may further get oxidized to carboxylic acid so generally the reaction is carried out at room temperature at room temperature or it should have temperature around 273 to 293 Kelvin if use excess it can be used to oxidize definitely to carboxylic acids